to eat like a Martian was one of the most fun and interesting things that I have done as an analog astronaut. Analog astronauts are people who spend time participating in research that advances human spaceflight and exploration. This dome is called High Seas, and it's located on the big island of Hawaii. I lived in this habitat for four months investigating food strategies for long-duration spaceflight. This was a NASA-funded Mars simulation. I spent four months rotating every two days between eating already prepared, just add water and heat meals, versus two days of being able to creatively cook using shelf-stable ingredients, such as freeze-dried fruits, meats, and vegetables. I even ran a cooking show called Meals for Mars while living in this simulation. Now, why did I do this? I am a geoscientist. I teach geology and sustainability classes. I have spent a lot of time thinking about food, culture, and sustainability. What I've learned from being an analog astronaut is that if we solve for space, we solve for Earth. What I mean by this is that all the things that we need for space exploration to be efficient, food, water, energy, shelter, those things are the same things that we need to be able to thrive here on Earth. As we think about future habitats on the Moon and Mars, we need to think about the food supply line that will be needed to keep those Martian astronauts happy and healthy while they're attempting to grow their own food. The food that we're going to be sending to them needs to be lightweight and shelf-stable. That's why NASA and other space agencies are looking into freeze-dried technology. Freeze-drying removes the water from the food, which makes it lightweight. Now, I know what you're thinking. Why in the world would you want to eat backpacker food every day? What most of you guys have experienced has been dehydrated food and not freeze-dried. Dehydration leaves food shriveled up and lifeless. For example, the corn on the left, that's dehydrated. The corn on the right, that's freeze-dried. Freeze-drying removes the water under extreme conditions, leaving the food with still the shape, taste, and nutrition. So how does this apply to us here on Earth? We, right now, ship fresh food all around the world. But what we're really shipping is water and nutrients. What I like about freeze-drying is that it takes the water out of the food and leaves it at the source so that we are just shipping the nutrients. What if we collectively decided that fresh food was going to be anything that was locally or regionally grown and that any food that was shipped internationally or imported was going to be freeze-dried. What would that look like? For southwestern Arizona, this area, it would mean keeping one of our most precious resources, water, here within our state. It would mean that we would no longer need big, huge refrigerators because most of our food would be shelf-stable. It would mean that we wouldn't need freezers filled with frozen food. You're thinking about all that frozen food that's right now in your house, right? Well, that frozen food could be freeze-dried and shelf-stable. We would still be able to enjoy meats, vegetables, fruits from around the world simply by rehydrating them. This is rehydrated peppers, pork, and chicken. 
This is a meal I creatively cooked using rehydrated broccoli, rehydrated peppers, rehydrated chicken. Then I mixed it in with some chow mein noodles and some spices. It was totally delicious. Freeze-dried fruits, meats, and vegetables are available right now in our local grocery store. Mainly fruits, but you can also find herbs and a few vegetables. Now, don't get me wrong. I still want fresh fruit and vegetables. I just want them to be locally sourced. Let's stop. The transportation of water around the world in the form of food. Let's take the water out of the food, leave it at its local source, and ship the nutrients. Let's reduce the need for large refrigerators and freezers. Let's reduce the cost of transportation of food around the world because we can make it lightweight. That would reduce the cost. Let's reduce food waste and food spoiling by investing in freeze-dried technology. Let's open up jobs in rural agricultural areas by creating freeze-dried food plant productions. Let's all eat like a Martian. Buy local fresh foods. And mix them with freeze-dried fruits, meats, and vegetables from around the world. Thank you. <laughs>